Hi, thank you for checking me out. Uh, there's an ongoing project in Cape Coast. It's the 37th celebration of Farmers Day here in Ghana. And it's we are we are fortunate, you know, my city is fortunate to host this whole project in Cape Coast. So I came here just to you know have a feel of the exhibition that is going about. Honestly, there are a lot of things that we don't know is going on here in Ghana. I mean when I came here, I've seen a lot of uh, products that I never heard of. And I hope to bring you more from this channel. So let's go. I don't know say you come around here. You tell me say that they can do some programs so you go monitor. <laughs> So my name is Anthony Wasibe. Uh, I'm coming from Fisheries Commission from Mopad. Uh, we are here today for the 37th National Farmers Day. As you can see, we have our exhibits here. With this first apparel, we have what we call the catfish. It, it has a very special name, a uh, scientific name uh, called Clarias garipinos. If you come to the second one, we have a mixture of both catfish and tilapia. We call these the fingerlings because they are very, very small. If you go to the third aquarium, we have what we call the fries. They are one gram. So what Fisheries Commission seeks to do is that we preach the, the, the on our natural waters. The fisheries are depleting because there's too much overfishing. So we are how to help people to do their own fish farming. So as you can see, we have several systems that you can use in growing your own fish. We have what we call the earthen pond, we have the, the cake system, we also have the, uh, the aquaria, and we also have the latest one is what we call the tabulin system. Yeah. So when if you want to go into any business or, or fishing business or fish farming, you'll come to our offices. Our offices are across the country, all the regions. If you are interested in fish farming, you go there, then they will tell you the do's and don'ts. Then you can go into is it cut that you want to go into? They will tell you what you have to do in order to get into food catfish farming. If it is tilapia, they can also help you to go into tilapia fish farming. Mechanical engineer, and uh, this is Mr. Rafik Muhammad. 
uh, he's my chief technician. So um, we are into a pottery cage production. That is basically the, what we call what we basically call the solar pottery cage. And so we are producing it. But I design it. I design everything, and then I gave it to my technician to study it. And then he, he did his best to study everything, and we put them into practice, and everything is working. So this is what you have. At the background is the pottery cage that you are talking about. It is solar open. If I, may, if I say it's solar open, it means that the solar gives us light during the night. And then during the day, everything they eat outside, they drink uh, from the nozzles. And then uh, the litter uh, is, is, is simple to clear. Everything has been made so easy so that one person can take care of more than three or four thousand beds. Wow. Yeah. So basically, this is the cage that we are talking about, and the, the, the features are there. So if you permit me, I can I can go around and then show you the features, how the whole thing works, and all those things. So basically, you come. We have. I was I was just mentioning about the solar system. We have the light for them. The light is only meant for for them to eat throughout the night. So when you come when you come in front like this, when you come in front like this, this light is 40 watt LED that can control them throughout the night. Okay, and it's still operated. So the solar is on top of it, and then it is connected. So you don't need any electricity here. You don't need. You don't, you don't need. You don't need any electricity. So I was talking about the the alita system. The only problem that the pottery industry is having at the moment is how to control their uh, their, their droppings or their waste. So we thought about this and then we made something simple. So as I said, you, you just if you want to control their litter, you just do this like this. And you clear it into a bin. You push it back. You don't have any problem. And you clear this only twice in a week. Yes. So this is the green tech pottery cage we are talking we are talking about. A solar operated pottery cage. And then it also has the automatic adjuster system whereby if there is there's a, some letters on where they are standing because we don't want the, the system to be dirty. So if there are some still leftovers on where they are, if there's something we can press, press with the foot like this, then it will let all the droppings drop on the board so that you can clear to you about the alerting system and I told you about how the whole thing works and then we want the system to be so tidy so that it will prevent the, the chips from, from certain diseases like like their flus, their various flus and all those things. If the system is tidy, then less they, they, will, they will less fall sick. And basically, even we even struggled before even bringing this one up. And this is a prototype, although some people have started working into it, but still, we need more support because we see a lot of pressure are coming on us. A lot of people want them. And then what we have right now, I think is solution for the poultry industry. So what we are thinking is that if we get any support, that can that can let us escalate, that can let us build more of this. It will help us, but basically. Thank you. Thank you. This is sweet potato buns made from orange flesh sweet potato, like you can see. There's no added sugar and there's less flour in this. And this is good for your health. Actually, it's good for diabetic patients and all of that. So it is from Idaki and Associates. We, we process sweet potato into sweet potato bread and other products like sweet potato gari and more of those things. So you could also see the sweet potato flour, which is gluten free, made from sweet potato. So anything you holler at us and then we can sell you some so that you can also have improve your health.
you, you contact me at Spintus or on the number 0206357242. This is uh, Pump Tech Limited. It's uh, an engineering company that is into the, the the pumping of water. But we have developed a strength in the area of solar water pumping. And this setup you've seen, we are mimicking a borehole situation where you want to pump out water from a borehole with a submersible pump. So this pump actually has a head of about 40. So if your borehole is up to 40 meters, uh, 35 meters, you can use this pump. And we are using only two solar panels here. The solar panels, if you want a larger flow, could be more than two. So that's basically what we do. We also deal with irrigation. And because this is about farmers, we are here to showcase what we can do. We can provide water. The challenges along that uh, chain of getting water to your farm, that's what exactly we are here to do. We can set up a farm, size the farm, we size the system, we know your water requirements, and then we fix a pump that will meet that demand, and then we'll be able to help you as a farmer. So basically, this is what we do.